you did have a big idea at one point that you thought might be your big business. Yeah, part of my um, revelation, I was in, just like the guy said, I was 4950. First of all, my mother died. I don't know that you grow up until your parent dies or both of your parents. I don't know that you really understand that you're going to die. I don't know that you really get it. So that was one piece. The second piece was I had this idea, I'm going to tie up all the frame shops in America and advertise together in, in, in magazines like Met Home and all those shelter magazines they're called and put ads in there. Go to your local Framer Select member and I was going to sign up 500 frame shops paying yearly dues for it and use that new thing called the internet. They can go right on there, put in Frame Shop Chicago and it'll come up. And was convinced this was the greatest idea ever and, and, and was doing everything I never did. New concept using technology. I really thought I finally had the big one. So I did that for a few years, which was about two years too long. And I, I burned through hundreds of thousands of dollars and then woke up one day like a drunk in jail on Saturday morning thinking, what did I do? And I realized I'm an entrepreneurial holic. And I mean that in the most sincere way. I, I was just intoxicated by the whole entrepreneurship thing and the money thing. And I am now a recovering entrepreneurial holic, which is why I do things like this. It's like, for me, this is like going to an AA meeting. Um, <laughs> I, and I mean it. I, I, I went through the money, uh, parents died, and then lastly, I looked at my balance sheet and I realized like, hey, I did okay. I'm doing okay. Like, I don't need to end up with the next big idea. Like. I can buy anything I pretty much want. I'm not going to buy a Learjet or anything, but for in practical purposes, like life is good. And I'm telling you, when I had that revelation, I am much happier now that I got that thing off my back of I'm not doing. And I met someone yesterday that tr I told him to his face, I saw me 20 years ago. I want to do the best I can do. And I, they're, gonna, they're paying the price for it already, which I won't get into the details, but I tried to convince them that you should think about this. We talk about strategy all the time. How about the strategy of just being a healthy, happy, well-adjusted human being with happy customers, happy employees, and a happy family? How about that part of the strategy and just that of, I want to hit a hundred million. They talk, if you ever talk to any of these people that say that, and there's probably some of you in the audience, it's like a trance, like, I'm going to hit a hundred million dollars. <laughs> At what cost? 